guys, welcome back to my dining room. I want to talk to you today a little bit about a subject that is a little controversial. And uh, so here we go. I want to introduce you to Flavor Saver. I don't know if you can see on my phone, it's a purple tomato. Gardeners can now grow a genetically modified purple tomato made with Snapdragon DNA. The purple tomato, a genetically modified crop created by Norfolk Plant Sciences, is available to home gardeners to start from seed. Now, I don't know if you remember, but a while back I did a video, um, and a, a lot of people are concerned whether they should use GMO seeds or not GMO seeds. Well, I did a video, and I told you at the time, even though, I don't know if you can see right here, it says non-GMO. These are seeds that I purchased from either Westlake or Home Depot. Um, they're organic. And <clears throat> never could you buy a, a genetically modified seed. They were never available to the average consumer. They were only available to commercial farmers until about a month ago. And they've produced this purple genetically modified tomato. Now, um, the argument that goes for this is a good thing is that they can uh, make them more disease resistant, more insect resistant, um, bringing more food to you know people in area in areas that have a hard time growing food. Um, and while that may be true, um, I also think the two crops that come to my mind that are uh, <clears throat> largely GMO that we have to deal with are corn and soybeans. And uh, these GMO products have been promoted by the government. They're actually government subsidized. So farmers actually are able to make ends meet, I have my whining dog here, by growing these crops. So they have a false sense of value in the market because farmers are growing them uh, with subsidies so when they're sold well the farmers are are prompted to grow them because they're they're actually getting subsidized by the government which makes them want to grow them and uh, so then our market is flooded with corn which we have to do something with, GMO corn, I should say. I'm gonna let my dog out, one minute. Okay, I'm back. So, because the farmers are prompted to grow this corn, um, nothing against them, they're trying to make ends meet, but they're government subsidized, so now we have a market flooded with the GMO corn, and we're making products like corn syrup out of it. So when you go to the grocery store, so many things that you pick up, even if it's, um, you know, juices, fruits, uh, products, any products off the shelf. Almost all of them have corn syrup added. Why? Because our market is flooded with corn syrup. So now they're going to sell it to the consumer. So, and corn syrup isn't good for us. Um, it's toxic to our body. So, well, yes, uh, the genetically modifying the fruit or vegetable could be um, something that would make it grow in conditions that it might not. Uh, it can also not be a good thing, especially where companies, um, greedy companies are involved. Um, you know, the Snapdragon tomato in and of itself might not be a problem. It just makes me wonder to where it's going to lead us. Uh, they genetically modify products, uh, the corn and such, they spray their fields with Roundup. So they genetically modify these products not to be able to be killed from the Roundup, right? So these products absorb the Roundup, everything around it dies, the, the insects die, um, the weeds die, and then we consume the product. Then what happens? We're consuming that product that was made to kill organic organisms. And that's what we are. So it has a detrimental effect on our health over time. Um, so overall, I'm gonna say I 
prefer for myself. My choice is not to go with genetically modified seeds. Um, so this new purple tomato is going to hit the market. Um, it's a beautiful tomato. It's purple. It's You can imagine the purple of a snapdragon being bred into this tomato. Now the other problem that people can have is people, you know, there's the concern that genetically modifying something can, since it's not found in nature, can cause cancer. Or um, they can modify by adding in proteins. And when they add in proteins, it can cause allergic reactions to people who might not otherwise be allergic to, say, a tomato or whatever fruit it is they're putting it in. And, and it could not be, but it could be. It increases your chance of having an allergic reaction to something. So, um, always before I told you they weren't available in the market. This little stamp of non-GMO was really a selling technique. It really meant nothing. But today, it does mean something. So, if you're buying seeds and you don't want to participate in genetically modified seeds, such as myself. I don't want to participate in I don't want, I'm out. I don't want to do it. I don't want to grow them. Um, in fact, to me, that's more important than even organic. Um, I do try to buy organic seeds anytime I can. But now this little non-GMO actually does have a meaning. Because I did a video on it in the past and told you that genetically modified seeds were not available to the public. I wanted to do this one and tell you that as of this month, that's changed. So these are available to you now, the genetically modified seeds in the purple tomato. And then when you go to the markets, um, these genetically modified tomatoes are going to be available to you this growing season because people are going to be growing them and putting them out on the stands for you to buy. And they are beautiful, so they will get your attention. Um, I know that we eat genetically modified foods. If you eat out at a restaurant, chances are you're eating genetically modified foods. I do it. I try not to do it often, but I, I do eat out. And so, um, do we do that? Yeah, we do some, but I don't think it's good for us. And uh, I prefer to buy my seeds that are non-genetically modified. So anyway, I hope that helps you. I wanted uh, to make that announcement since I told you before that you could not buy genetically modified seeds on the stand um, at wherever you buy seeds from. Um, I'm going to do a video on different places to buy seeds that I think are quality seeds um, that, that give you, a, you know, companies that give you good varieties of seeds. Um, you can always go to Home Depot, Lowe's, Westlake, wherever, Ace Hardware, wherever you have a place to grow seeds or to buy seeds, even some of the dollar stores have seeds. So, you know, do whatever works for you. But I'm going to do a video on places that I like to buy seeds that have quality seeds for sale. So I hope this was helpful. I hope we'll, you will like, subscribe, and share this video. Um, I would like to get the word out there that genetically modified seeds are going to be made available to the public now. So anyway, have a great day. Thanks for joining me.